this to be another action-packed performance of World Rockway Wrestling. Let's get things started with a tag team match. One fall, a 15-minute time limit. Introducing first from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing 280 pounds, the mighty Hercules. His partner from Oklahoma, weighing 235 pounds, Sonny Warclaw. Now the opportunity that you've been waiting for. Go ahead and introduce us. They're their opponents, the defending North American Tag Team Champions, first from Albuquerque, New Mexico, weighing 272 pounds, Rex Valentine. And his partner from Kansas City, Missouri, weighing 252 pounds, Bulldog Bob Brown. The referee for this match is Mr. Bernie Richard. And we are set to go. As Sonny Warclaw will step in against Big Rick Valentine. It's Valentine against Warclaw. And as you can hear, some of the fans in the background applauding the presence of Leo Burke, who is making his way to the interview table, the international heavyweight wrestling champion, Leo Burke. And Leo, it took quite a while to gain that championship belt. It certainly must be nice to have. Well, it certainly is, uh, Gary. It's been an exciting season, to say the least. I'd like to thank all the people, again, once again, the Maritime has given me not only myself, but given wrestling their support. Uh, I feel without the fans, I'm nothing. I'm a nobody. So uh, whatever credit or prestige I've had, I owe to the fans. Oh, that's a classy comment from a classy individual, Leo Burke, who, unlike others in this professional wrestling business, try to do their best to turn off the fans. I'm talking about... The likes of Bulldog, Bob Brown, and Rick Valentine, people who are watching now. Well, it's unfortunate that some wrestlers, like, uh, I have a $5,000 body in my head still going around, as you know. It's unfortunate that some wrestlers will be that greedy trying to collect the money that away. Uh, to me, it's no longer a sport when you reach that far, but uh, that, they just, to me, they're showing their true colors. Uh, but, however, you have to give credit where credit is due. Bulldog Brown. Rick Valentine, a uh, one hell of a tag team combination. Right now, the Cuban assassin and I are trying to wrest the titles away from them. Uh, whether we'll be successful at it or not, I don't know. we got a tough story in our hands. Also, I'd like to mention, uh, Gare, I'd like to give everybody an equal chance. Like you say, the Dynamite Kid or Dino Ventura, the Rock and Roll Express, I feel they deserve a crack at my International Heavyweight Championship. And as soon as I can free myself from other commitments, I want to give them a title shot. Well, Leo Burke has never been one to back down or hide behind his championship belts in the past, and he's not about to start now. He is the reigning international heavyweight wrestling champion, despite the best efforts of Rock and Ron Star for one, who's been trying to wrestle it away. Well, so, Gary, always, always a pleasure talking to you. I gotta go right now, so thanks again. Good. I'll see you next time around. Thanks very much for stopping by, Leo Burke, as we concentrate now on the action in the ring. Sonny Warclaw against Rex Valentine. And Valentine now has Warclaw in a headlock. Now here comes Bulldog Bob Brown with a boot to the midsection. Here's Brown being whipped off the turnbuckle. Brown taking an Indian chop. Down goes the Bulldog. Hey, and in comes Rick Valentine. The team of Brown and Valentine certainly have their hands full with Sonny Warcloud and the mighty Hercules. Here comes Hercules. Elbow to the head of Rick Valentine. Now Hercules working away on the left arm of Rick Valentine. 
Mighty Hercules still working away. And the crowd getting somewhat animated. Tag it into some sunny war clouds. In on Rick Valentine. And now Valentine throws war clubs out onto the studio floor. Braun had thoughts of going after war clubs, but there you see Leo Burke and the Cuban assassin in to make sure that war club is not interfered with. And now the Cuban assassin and Bulldog Bob Brown are going at it. Leo Burke is in there. And Bulldog Bob Brown certainly paid the price for trying to interfere with Sonny Warcloud. Back to the action in the middle of the ring. Warcloud tossed out under the studio floor. Brown takes a look. Now he starts to deliver a few boots to Warcloud. Here's the Bulldog Bob Brown. Choking Sonny Warcloud. Sonny Warcloud, really in a lot of trouble now. Another tag, and here comes Bulldog Bob Brown off the top rope. I've never seen the Bulldog come off the top rope. Sonny Warcloud, a little disoriented in the middle of the ring. Valentine grabs a head full of hair. There's Bulldog Bob Brown. Starting to punish his man, Sonny Warcloud. Here comes Rick Valentine. Valentine has Warcloud down on the mat. Here comes Valentine. Oh, my. That has to hurt. Out of one, two before War Cloud kicks out. Slap to the face and down goes War Cloud. Bulldog Bob Brown. Now Brown. Tagging again with Rick Valentine. Here's Valentine. Valentine now lining up Tony Warcloud and he missed on the elbow smash. Warcloud looking to tag. Here comes the mighty Hercules. Hercules thumping away on Rex Valentine. Valentine going in. Bulldog Bob Brown had thoughts of interfering. And oh! Brown and Valentine collide. Here's the mighty Hercules. Body slamming Rex Valentine. Just the count of two. Again, Hercules lining up Valentine. Some shoulder blocks. Again, Valentine being whipped post to post. Valentine got the knee up in time, though. In comes Bulldog Bob Brown. Off the tag, Brown with a leg drop. Down to three. And that's it. As Bulldog 
Stars, Bob Brown and Rick Valentine, the North American Tag Team Champions, defeat the mighty Hercules and Sonny Warcloud. We'll be right back.